Okay, I'm going to call to order the Hadley Conservation Commission meeting for October 10th, 2023. First on the agenda is an enforcement order, 105 Stockford Street continued. An enforcement order was issued in response to the EP comments issued on file number 170-294 concerning bill of bordering vegetated wetlands at Full of Grace Farm. The enforcement order requires a wetlands restoration plan. So what do we have here to present that tonight? I don't think she's on yet. Either wait for the next one and then go back. Okay, I'll jump ahead then. Uh, abbreviated notice of resource area delineation 170-295 at 320 Russell Street continued. The landlord plan has filed an abbreviated notice of resource area delineation for 328 Russell Street. The delineation was performed by SWCA consultant site visit conducted on 830. So how do we want to handle this one? Um, I can join the Zoom and then present the updated Matt from the consultant. She's not able to be here today, but we, um, she made the changes that we recommended at our last hearing and expanded some of the wetland flags, added a, or changed the isolated vegetated wetland to a bordering vegetated wetland. Um, and actually, let me just pass around the- We were we were all set to vote on this at last yeah. meeting. So we just basically, this is, but in order to vote on it, you should be aware of which place? This is that stupid, this is that crazy yeah. lot across from the hotel right. on Route 9 yeah. next to uh, yeah. Home, yeah. Home Depot. So just, by Steve's yeah. restaurant. Okay. It's for sale. Yeah. You recognize the picture. Steve was over here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, basically, it's just a, yeah. an updated delineation of the wetlands. And her prior recommendations, they, were, they made some minor changes that have been reflected on this plan. So they're not proposing any development. All yeah. they want to know is that we accept these new boundaries, and that's basically the non-genetic social area. But this will give them with a 35 foot setback yeah. what yeah. they could do develop that, but right. potentially. Well, well, they're not here anyway. So I, yeah. I would see yeah. anything yeah. make a big deal of it about this. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, there's actually a couple of the 20 piece yeah. area. Yeah. Yeah. So what do we have to do? <clears throat> Yeah, so we've never really, I've never really done one of those. That's okay. So we, in our yeah. it's our NOI. Right. You can either accept the wetland boundaries as accurate. There's no other resource boundaries on this application. So it's just bordering vegetated wetlands here. Or you can suggest the modification or say that they're inaccurate. So I'm in agreement with what she presented before. If you want to pass it around. Yeah, yeah. You, you, that we got 100%. it. 100%. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. So <clears throat> I would look, is this considered a hearing still, too? Yeah. Okay, so I would look for a motion to close the hearing on this. Make a motion to close. I'll second it. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. Okay, so now we're going to go on to the voting. The, I'm looking for a motion that will be an order of delineation mm -hmm. that will accept the accurate delineation of what man is proposed in the plan. Lord, needs a motion. Second by? Second. Great. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Right. Uh, right. Unanimous. Okay. So it'll be a, we'll accept it and we'll just sign it. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to back up to the enforcement order that we already opened up, and, but our Zoom meeting representative for this project was not on yet, so I'll reread it. The 105 Stockford Street continued. The enforcement order was issued in response to the EP comments issued on file number 170-294 concerning still a boarding vegetated wetlands at Fuller Grace Farm. The enforcement order requires a wetland restoration plan. Okay. You're on. 
Hi folks, uh, Erica Larner here again. Um, nice to see you all. I apologize for not being there in person. Um, I have a touch of a cold and I didn't think you got the exposure. Um, so I'm coming before you folks today. We've had a few discussions about the notice of intent and the enforcement order. Um, and the last couple of meetings, we had gone over the fact that the what we thought might have been a non-jurisdictional swale is jurisdictional. Um, so I did update that in the invasive plant management plan that I had submitted as a proposed mitigation for the previous alterations. Um, and we did revise the plan um, uh, as requested to uh, have that, what was previously labeled as a non-jurisdictional swale to switch to the BBW and intermittent stream. Um, so I am wondering if there's anything I can answer for you folks specifically um, before I give you too much information you already know. Well, we just have to go over everything again because the other board members here weren't at the mm -hmm. last meeting, so we couldn't vote on any of this. Absolutely, yep. Um, so I figure the chair might know how he'd like to handle it, and I don't want to overstep. So you can go ahead and... I'm so sorry, would you like me to describe more about what we discussed last meeting. I, I just want to know how I can help. Yeah, we have to, we, because we, these board members weren't there at the meeting. So All right, perfect. So, so at the last meeting, when we had a, an informal discussion without any votes, um, sorry, Mark Stinson had attended. And previously at other meetings, we had come in and we discussed the enforcement order. There had been, had been some work done prior to the current lesser taking over with Full of Grace Farm. Um, so we had met and previously we had discussed under that enforcement order that the swale to the north of the paddocks um, was to be considered non-jurisdictional. But when Mark Stinson came in, he made some really excellent arguments based on the definitions in the Wetlands Protection Act that it should still be considered an, inter an intermittent stream with BPW on the side. Um, as such, we have revised the plan to show that as a jurisdictional space. We have pulled back the stormwater discharge from the parking lot so that it is not a point source discharge. It is going into um, the riprap and being dispersed and allowed after treatment to enter the, swale, the stream. I apologize. Um, and so the consultant and myself, we agree and we're fine with the determining that to be jurisdictional. Um, the substance of the plan has not changed since the first time we were in. It is we are looking to regrade the paddocks, collect some of the discharge from the parking lots and some of the runoff from the road that is not being treated at the moment, treat it and discharge it into the um, streams and water courses where it goes to now untreated. Um, previously, there had been about, I am having a moment with the amount of clearing that had happened previously. And I'm double checking. So in, in the um, course of filing this application, it came um, out that there was approximately um, about 44,000 square feet of potential filling in um, a BVW. It was very difficult for me to be able to gauge where the actual line was. So I kind of overestimated and presumed that it was about an acre, even though it might be less. Um, and in response to that, we are pro proposing about an acre of um, invasive plant management. Um, I can't really find a place on the property that we could do an actual replication. So that is what we have proposed. And we are happy to hear what the commission might say in response to those things. Do you um, feel like I covered a lot of what we discussed? I don't want to miss things. Yeah, do you have okay. a digital copy of the plan that you could maybe present on the screen? I don't have a paper copy of the revised plan. Um, yeah. So if you could also get one of those to me, that would be helpful. Absolutely. Give me a second and I will pull it up. And then obviously we'll get you a hard copy because that's a necessity. I apologize, folks. Just trying to see where that last plan was. So we're proposing an acre of replication. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, I hunt for this, yeah. 
I'm so sorry, folks. I, I had thought that that went, um, wait, I think I might have it. Here we go. Um, so this was revised again this September. Yep, right after our last meeting. Okay, just check the revision date. So as we see here, this has the, um, the proposed sacrifice area. This is listed as BBW. We've taken out the non-jurisdictional swale portion. Um, and we have another sacrifice area. And these are meant to be the paddocks and a swale to go here to capture um, the runoff from the paddocks. Is this what you're looking for, Kayla? I want to make sure I'm sharing what you need. Yeah, that's helpful. So you did, you have an acre of proposed mitigation, replication? Not replication, um, mitigation, um, invasive plant species um, management. So and that's, and that's going to be to take care of the violation of the enforcement order or what? Yes, yes. So there was, um, prior to the current lesser, so the owner um, to the east also owns 105 Stockbridge. And prior to the current full of grace lesser coming in with her horse farm, there had been a previous lesser who had come in and um, it's hard to gauge when it switched from cattle to horses, but we can see that there was some fill, some expansion in the paddocks, definitely at least in buffer and definitely some fill in BBW. Um, there's no that, way to, to suggest that that didn't happen. When did that happen? I'm, this is 2008? Let me find, I can also find my last document that actually has that documentation. So let me find that. Right, we'll pull up Mass Map or it will help. Stop sharing and do a new share. All right. So once I'm here, I'm just going to pull up my images so you can see. So if we go back to, say, 2005. You can see here there's still that the intermittent stream. There's been, this is still when it was in cattle. Um, when they're still doing an agricultural um, process. And then if we add 2008, you can start to see this is when we start to get some changes. And this paddock here, the um, manure, between 2005 and 2008, um, there was a switch from the owner uh, to the east who had been doing cattle and hay to this becoming, as you can see, some a paddock for horse farm. And then by 2011, it really had started to get more formalized and by 2013 to 2014, it's in today's conditions. Um, the current lesser who's running the um, horse farm as we see it didn't take over till 2016, um, but the violation is still here regardless. So where's this mitigation gonna take place? So the mitigation that we are proposing is in this area and in this area, there is substantial amounts of invasive plant species. Um, in particular, uh, a large amount of Asiatic bittersweet, um, and it is choking out the trees and causing damage to some of the, the longer lived plant species that we would want to keep for shading value. So our proposal would be to uh, manage the Asiatic bittersweet all in this area. Where, where is this plan in writing? Where? Yeah, it is in writing, um, but if you'd like me to, I'm happy to share that as well. So you can see I have that up and I'm happy to show you what I have going on for that. One of the interesting things about Zoom, which is kind of handy, but also a little problematic, is that you choose one screen, one window to share. So to switch them, I have to unshare. But it's um, 
we can get there. So, so here's our cover page and existing conditions. And then we also talked about the multi-floor rows, which is especially along that, um, what we were, the intermittent stream BBW, the currently jurisdictional. Um, so doing repeated mowing in that area was part of our proposal because um, one of the things the commission had discussed was that the uh, there's some difficulty with flow from that discharge and we figured repeated mowing is an effective uh, mitigation measure for multi-floor rows um, and also would keep the swale stream, sorry, stream um, flowing efficiently. So we'd get um, multi-benefits there. And then for the invasive plant species, we're targeting the Asiatic bittersweet. One of the things is that there are a variety of, there are a variety of uh, one to 5% coverage for some other bitter, um, invasive species. Because of the discharge from the roadways, I don't know that we can ever get rid of all of it, but I do know that we can control the bittersweet very well, as well as do some repeated mowing for the multi-floor rows. Well, question I have for you, Kayla. This, does this satisfy the DEP? Um, for the enforcement order? I mean, I, I think it's up to us. We issued the enforcement order. So we are, it's our decision if you want to accept it as sufficient. And then the idea is that, well, we're doing these two hearings together, the enforcement order and the notice of intent. So the notice of intent is kind of contingent on this plan. So is this plan in the notice of intent? Um, reference? For, well, basically for the order of conditions, we can condition it so that the the plan is accepted as long as this is implemented and kind of yeah. tie them together. And this wasn't um, included in the NOI submission, but Kayla's right. You can put this as one of the documents that we have to abide by and condition it that we can't get a, a COC unless we complete this. Um, or that if that this is ordered to be done and that if we don't even if we do no construction you could still come back and issue fines and another enforcement order well basically the only thing that's changed from the prior meeting because these folks weren't here in september in september we had to change that that drainage system yeah that would be the big substantial change from the last the meeting that the most people were at yeah that's the bit you, you, you all familiar yes, with that yeah. and fine with that yep so I like to kind of put this thing to bed tonight if I can. So I would look for a motion to close the notice of intent hearing on 170-294. Does the board members have any other further questions? We've already had peer review, multiple peer reviews. Yeah, read right. through all that. I don't want to drag it out. Drag it out. Motion by um, one thing before we close the hearing that we should maybe discuss is the natural heritage update. Um, so do you want to talk about that, Erica? Okay, yes. Yeah. Um, so we have not heard back yet from Natural Heritage. Um, we did hear the first time. The first plan we submitted um, looks very similar to this one, almost exactly the same, except for instead of using silt fences, we went to the compost filter tubes that are lower profile and can biodegrade, um, which is not going to create a, a trapping hazard for the turtles that are of concern. Um, but we did, I did email Allie over at Natural Heritage. We haven't heard back yet for comments. Um, she wanted an explanation for why we had had these revisions. Um, and we, and I did explain and Kayla, I hope you saw in the email that we discussed how we went back and forth a few times and that it wasn't much of substance in terms of the, the actual impacts that we had changed. Um, but we have not gotten a, Final word. We did get um, an email prior to changing the plan that this was acceptable um, as long as we put a J hook into the erosion controls, and we do still have that. So, so I would make it a uh, condition of the order conditions that, that was done to satisfy National Heritage. I agree. Okay. So. And then, yeah, once we receive any correspondence from National Heritage, we will probably incorporate whatever they suggest into the order. So, I think closing the hearing, issuing the order, we will will be kind of contingent on that. And I think we're very comfortable with that as well. And that if it comes back that Natural Heritage has concerns, we know that we would have to re-advertise and reopen if if this wasn't, um, if you didn't get comments to the commission satisfaction, we'd be fine with that. You want us to continue it the next month or do you, are you fine with us trying to close it? I think we'd love to close it unless you folks have concerns. 
which we would be happy to address, but we would love to close it. I think the main concern is national heritage. Yeah, that's it. And I don't think we're going to get anything back that's a real problem. But if there was, we'd be happy to reopen. I'd be happy to close today. Um, really happy to do that. <laughs> and then if Natural Heritage came back with any bad comments, we would know we'd have to come back. But if it was contingent upon their approval tonight, we would be very happy with that. Your recommendation, Caleb? I think um, what I recommend is that we close the hearing. And then once you receive Natural Heritage, comments, they did have a suggested um, condition in their original letter. I'm assuming that whatever they send over will kind of be the same as this, and we can incorporate that into the special conditions um, once I issue the order. So in other words, the order would not be officially issued until we get that added, but we're going to ask the board to be all right. I want to yeah, I think we can sign off yeah. on it and say we're signing off on this and we're going to incorporate the natural heritage comments when they come in and then okay. i will issue it once that happens okay so i'm going to look for a motion to close the hearing i'll make it one is motion second by i'll say any further discussion all in favor Sorry. Um, opposed okay do you want to read the draft special condition well that we just closed the hearing now we're going to go to the actual notice of intent in the order of okay. conditions. Okay, so um Kayla has proposed a number of special conditions. I'll let you read those. We're gonna add okay. So I have some general conditions, pre-construction, during construction, post-construction, and perpetual conditions. So I could read those or I could provide a summary, whatever is helpful. Summary, right. summary. Okay. Um, so the first one is if any change is made in the plans which may or will alter an area subject to the WPA, applicant should inquire from the commission if it requires further permitting. Two, the restoration invasive species management plan must be implemented in all areas stabilized prior to construction on the stormwater and agricultural best management practices plan. Um, the pre-construction conditions include marking the limit of work with erosion controls, Stakes or flags, uh, maintaining those until construction is complete. No storage of materials outside of that limited work line. Uh, special condition four, prior to activity on site, the applicant shall inform Conservation Commission in writing of the name and business phone number of the project supervisor responsible for maintenance of sedimentation and erosion control. Uh, during construction, erosion control devices shall remain in place until all soils have been stabilized. Uh, Erosion and sedimentation controls shall be inspected weekly and after each storm event with rainfall greater than 0.25 inches. At no time is cut plant material or other debris allowed to enter resource areas. Um, applicants shall ensure no invasive plant species are introduced to or moved around the site by construction activities. Herbicides used must be applied in accordance with labeled instructions and be safe for use in and near wetland environments. All debris, bell topsoil, or other materials shall be stockpiled at least 35 feet away from BBW in accordance with the bylaw um, and should be protected from erosion with hay bales, silt fence, or silt sock. And then post construction conditions include the certificate of compliance will not be issued until the mitigation and restoration plantings are determined to be successful after two full growing seasons. Um, and the applicant slash owner shall submit to the commission the maintenance log for the first year of operation after construction is complete in accordance with the stormwater management so plan. So you, you reference that there, correct? Yes. Okay, so we already referenced that the restoration plan will be part of the order conditions, and we're also going to add the you one there for the uh, National Heritage. Yes, and then there's two conditions that are perpetual um that prevent or prohibit plowing or dumping of snow into the drainage swales resource areas or restoration areas um and the last one the applicant and o subsequent owners shall operate and maintain all stormwater bmps in accordance with the design plans and operations and maintenance plan and we will incorporate the condition that recommended by natural heritage um the one that they have sent already says prior to the start of work adequate erosion and sedimentation control measures shall be implemented including any necessary controls not specifically referenced in the plan and be maintained in effect throughout project construction and until the site has become stabilized. Please note that silt fencing shall be extended. Well, this won't be silt fencing. They might change it. Shall be extended from 
wetland flag A4 to wetland flag A2, as well as from wetland flag A10 to wetland flag A14. In addition, J hook spacing in the direction of the wetland shall be installed between wetlands flag A2 and wetlands flag A1, as well as wetland flag 14. So basically, the only difference is basically is the siltation control or for fence store. Yeah. Worst case scenario, they have to go back to a silt fence. Well, they're changing it away from silt fence. But the National yeah. Heritage yeah. has an issue. Okay. Any questions on the um, <clears throat> proposed special condition? I have a motion for the board to accept those. Yeah. Motion. I'll make a motion. Brandon makes a motion to accept the orders. Second one. Second. Second. Steve, great. I don't care. Fifth one. Fifth one. Stay. Steve. Any further discussion? Is the work plan still uh, in order for the fall of 23? They still going to try to start now? Or? Yeah, I said. You guys will try to start this fall? The, the invasive management, um, they're not looking to start construction for the stormwater improvements till the spring, but yes, we would be looking at doing an initial treatment this fall. Um, it's, it's still good for. Plan. Doing a cut and treat the um, cut stumps, it'll still suck it into the roots. This is still a good time for that. That's a good reason for us to try to get this done tonight. So yeah, they, so the they can not for Otherwise, they won't be able to do the fall the fall yep. plan. Right. I think the national heritage is a very minor, small thing that could cause a problem. Good. Okay. So uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Unanimous. All set. Thank you so much, folks. I really appreciate it, and um. It was lovely working with you all. It was actually fun meetings. And Kayla, it was lovely to see you at the conservation area. <laughs> <laughs> we go for walks at the same places, apparently. So <laughs> thanks, folks. Have a great day and take care. You as well. You and I see that Meredith joined. Meredith, we... Um, we issued an order or an ORAD for your application earlier in the meeting, approving the wetland boundaries. Okay, great, wonderful. Thank you so much for your time. And I look forward to um, working with you guys again. I'll just, if you wanna mail it directly to my office, I can get it, go ahead and get it registered for my client. Okay. Will do. Okay, thank you, good night. Good night. Next up is request for determination of applicability, 22 River Drive, Cameron, Moscow. Did I present it correctly? Cameron? Yeah, hi. Is that Moscow? Um, yeah, oh. yeah. Musco, yeah. Musco, I'm sorry. Um, no, no worries. It's a 20 by 20 living room addition to the north side of the single family home. The house is located in the riverfront area. Site visit was conducted on 823. So go ahead. Who wants to present for this? Um, do you want me to share the, um, do you want me to share the plan and present it like I did last time? Would that be helpful? I can just screen share it. Sure. Yeah, if you don't mind. Okay. Um, sorry, do you guys see my screen? Do you guys see the plan on my screen? Yeah. 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 See, we, we we've seen it last meeting, but the other folks yeah. have to vote on it, so we just have to yeah. Plan. I'll just yeah. I'll re re do it. Yeah, I'll explain what changed. So first of all, I'm the homeowner. Um, we're looking to do a twenty by twenty foot extension. Um, my contractor is Spencer is Shumway Construction. He was here last week. I mean, last month, but uh, we didn't vote because of the, there were enough people for a quorum. So I presented the plan. Basically, oh, um, we're okay. looking to. Oh, sorry, go ahead. What? Keep going. Can you guys hear me? I'm going to show it down as well. So, I'm going to the one that we looked at. Hey, sorry. I think there's somebody else who's maybe unmuted, or should I just keep going? Or? Yeah. You need the mute. I'm looking to do it. I can time. You need the mute, please. I don't know how you can honor that. Um, I can try to I can try to keep going. So uh, there's more. No, there's some more both sales. So. Folks, if you're not presenting, please mute. Or well, just don't speak. Okay, I think they're muted. All set. So, um, yeah, the plan is to add a twenty by twenty foot living room extension. It's in 
an area of the property which is flat. It's currently the yard. Um, and um, we presented this plan last week and the gentleman from the DEP was here and you guys gave us some recommendations. So first of all, you guys asked for a mitigation area basically of plantings near the riverfront. So I've drawn this in the map. Um, it's on the bottom left. So it's the south um, west corner of the property basically abutting the riverbank. So the, you guys asked to basically have it abutting the riverbank because it all most value. So that's a pretty shaded area of the um, lawn and basically we carved out a triangle that we'll plan to do plantings and basically give back to the wooded riverbank um i talked with a local with wine tech nursery a local nursery and they recommended some native shrubs that would be a good match um for that area so we added that to the plan and then the other only other thing that we added to the plan was basically a delineation area for where we'd be uh storing soil and um other equipment and that's basically drawn in this dotted box um that's currently just level lawn area that's at least 55 feet from the riverbank um you kind of just as i just drew the existing fence to give a sense um of where it is on the property but kind of overlaps the existing front yard and backyard area so i'm happy to like answer other questions if it's helpful i don't know if i went over if that's enough to go over but i just said Because they're doing the work in the hundred to two hundred foot, correct? You're you're outside the hundred foot river from. Yeah, we're outside of the correct? floodplain. We're outside of the floodplain. It's a the river bank is quite long, and we're separated. So there's at least a hundred twenty to one hundred thirty feet from the area where the construction is to the actual river. Um, it's on a current like completely level lawn area. In order to work work within the hundred two hundred foot zone, we ask for some mitigation. Yep. To rep replace the addition, that, and that's why we came up with the plan, putting it, which is also closer to the river in the corner over there, which is currently long, is going to go into shrubs. Mm -hmm. So, this is what yeah. we worked out at the meeting last time. And we made it a bit bigger since the square footage we're taking is 400. You guys recommended to make a bit bigger. So, I think the total square footage I calculated on that mitigation is something like 670. Okay. So, oh. So it's fully level lawn area to the riverbank. Yeah, it's fully um, level lawn. Area. Okay, okay. It, it, it has has some siltation barrier between the top of the riverbank and where you're doing the excavation. Yeah, I've discussed that with Spencer, so we can put a silt fence or a silt sock, um, just to, just to make sure that there's no uh, yeah. I really it looks, looks good. Any be passing by the chance? Of, I think an erosion going because they're going to have a, a basement. They're going to fall down, yeah. but they're going to fall. Oh yeah, yeah. Over. On the right side okay but these it's not even tapered really to the river bank no but just to right. protect it also it's kind of a, a stock work area they're not going to be working close to the top of the river bank if you have that so I yeah they won't be close because the they can be totally in the front so i sort of they'll be totally in the front yard area um and yeah as you said it's not so, so we could do it either right along there's kind of a very clear line where the riverbank slopes down which is about 50 feet from where the 55 feet from where the construction is we could put it there or we could just put it um kind of like it, can you see my cursor like we could just also put it um here although that's like the same level all of this is level so we could put okay. the siltation barrier here i put it 15 feet back from the top of the riverbank so it's visible from okay. the road. yeah that works so we could put it right here where you know, we're line, showing my cursor lower. yeah, yeah. Sorry, say that again. Can you repeat that? I'm sorry? Can you just repeat what you said for Cameron? The about 15 feet. Up. About 15 okay, feet. Yeah. Up. yeah, sounds good. Sorry, I just didn't hear you. Yeah, sounds good. I'll give you some room to work around. For... Sounds great. Excavation. So this is going to be negative determination.
the only positive to require no to be kind of first. Yeah. Hey, I'm really sorry. I think that um the video froze for a minute, so um Um, if there's, yeah, I, I, what's the, yeah, sorry, I think the video froze, but it's, it's currently going, yeah. But uh, the work described in requests within the buffer zone is defined in relation but will not alter an area subject to jurisdiction under the act. Therefore, said work is not required to follow the following consent subject to the following conditions, if any. Or we go over to the five. The area described in the request is subject to the jurisdiction under the act. And it's in the, um, the River Act, but that's, that's, that's what it is. Yeah, it's for an exemption, so I'm not sure if that would be it. I think it would be the other one. This one here? So, or, or two, maybe two or three. Yeah, it's not, it's not really the buffer zone. It's in the, well, there's no wetlands there. It's not in the wetland buffer zone. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm going to I'm going to propose a negative two determination. But the only thing is that there's three because there's any any other any other following conditions. Oh yeah. It is in the buffer zone. I think it could be three or two. I'm going to say negative three, but we can put conditions. Uh, the work described in the request is within the buffer zone as defined in the regulations, but will not alter an area subject to jurisdiction under the act. Therefore, said work does not require the following notice of intent, subject to the following conditions of any. Basically, the, the conditions would be A, the, uh, the new wetlands, well, mitigation area shown on the plan. B, uh, facilitations. Place. I think it also should be inspected before any work commences. Okay. Yeah. We want to make sure everything's in place at flotation barrier. And would you put a uh, plan on doing the uh, planting and mitigation of the shrubs? The plan, hopefully, if you guys are okay with it, would be we would hopefully start construction this fall and then we would do mitigation basically in the spring. Yeah. Um, Anything else? Anybody else want to add, Kayla? Okay. So I'd, I'd look look for a motion to close the hearing and go with a negative three determination with uh, the conditions. Look for a motion. I'll make one. Court makes a motion. Second. Second. Okay. <coughs> Any further discussion? And anybody? No. Nope. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Yeah, the garage is already in, in the existing line of your Okay. So, Cameron, I will mail you a copy of the. Um. Okay, great. Yeah, I'm sorry, you guys are cutting out a little bit, but thank, but I appreciate it. And Kayla, I'll just be in touch with you over email, um, and we can figure out. Thank you. Yeah, thank you all. I appreciate it. Have a good one. Okay. Next on the agenda is a request for the term of applicability, 63 pay rolls. Greg Cochin. Yeah, hi. Uh, Reconstructed deck attached to a single family home. The house is within the buffer zone of the floodplain. They conducted on 10 4. Okay, go ahead, Greg. 
Yeah, hi, my name's Steve. I'm, I'm actually here representing Greg, who couldn't be here today. Uh, can you all hear me fine? Yeah. Yes. All right, great. I just had, as the last person, I had some breakup with you all. Um, so I'm representing Greg. Greg is looking to um, utilize the footprint of an existing deck um, and replace the decking. Uh, it's 35 years old. Um, however, there was um, some concerns on the what it was going to be, the foundation was going to be, um, especially within the, the area that he lives close to the river. Um, and I believe Greg did have a site visit on 10-4. Uh, and one of the uh, one of the steps uh, to mitigate any disruption to the earth uh, and to really get this done as simple as possible for the environment and for Greg um, was to add helical piles um, into the ground as anchor supports uh, for the existing structure to you know essentially sister it up with with multiple um, helical piles. To, to sister with the existing uh, footprint that he has uh, and just add the decking. He's not looking to do any real construction, just adding more support as uh, sensitive as he can uh, via the helical piles. So the amount of uh, excavation is minimal, correct? Absolutely minimal. Yeah, Greg has no interest in trying to dig and do all that. He really just wants to, I believe it's, it, they get installed with, you know, a two guy crew, one piece of equipment that just sort of pushes this uh, helical pile into the ground. It's pretty common within construction, uh, specifically if you're trying to uh, not impact the environment as much, get it done, you know, in a timely manner without a whole lot of labor and disruption to the soil. Okay. A big issue here. No, over existing back Yeah, yeah. It, it's literally it's just not, falling back on its not changing. Yeah, your nothing. Your footprint's not changing. Nothing's changing. Nothing Nothing is changing. changing. It just happened to be the yeah, yeah. The plane. Yeah, yeah. And, and That's, behind yes, the wetness, exactly. Yeah, back, back stuff like those things. Um, right. This would be a negative too. Negative two would be the work described and requested with, is within an area subject to jurisdiction because the floodplain, the weather is behind but mm -hmm. ways away, but will not be moved to a dredge or alt that area. Therefore, the said work does not require the following of those. Yeah. Yeah. Make a motion for that? Make a motion. Second. 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 Any further discussion? No, sir. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Does Greg need to do anything? Are you going to send him anything? Uh, just want to know what I should let him know. He's good to move forward. Yeah. Yep. Great. Thank this you very much. For the building inspector, I think, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wonderful. Thank you very much. You all have a great night. Yeah. I like that. Okay. Yeah. And before we move on to the next um, agenda item, I think there's someone here. Mike, are you are you there? Mike? Uh -huh. Then Mike and Tom? Um, Mike and Tom? You're muted now. No, I want to ask it on you. Don't give me that option. You can't meet him up there in the right corner. I he, apparently with the town Zoom, you can't. But normally you could. Normally you can ask to unmute, but you couldn't just unmute someone. But I don't even have the option to request an oh. unmute. Right, so but they should. They should hear us. It's like on you. I I would think they should be able to hear us. Yeah, Mike and Tom, if you want to speak to the board, you have to unmute. <clears throat> Otherwise, we can't talk to you. Can't hear you. I think they don't have chat. No. In it. All right, we can move on and then come back to it. You know what it was about? Yeah. What was it about? Um,
somebody wants to install erosion controls, they want to, I think it's uh, kind of like a blanket of silk, not silk. It's like seeding in. Oh, like yeah. a geomat? Ge yes, yeah. geomat um, along the riverfront. And they're wondering if they need any permitting for it. So I spoke to Mark about it, and he seems to. He, he recommends filing an RDA, but they, I think they want to get started before it gets too cold with like the seating and stuff. So they're wondering. I think we need more plans. It's, it's going to be because sometimes little... they actually dig those in, they tow it in, and then they roll yeah. it out. So right. they actually could be disrupting the soil. But more. you can't just lay that down because usually it'll just slide out. And it's in the river front, right? Mm -hmm. It's on mm -hmm. the bank. And why, are they yeah. doing, why are they doing it? Uh, because it's kind of the river, there's been like scouring of the bank and it's creeping up on the person's property. I think we need more definitive plans. We just can't. Yeah. We're gonna need well, we could ask Mike if he would have these stuff. Could you get a stock? I think it's about to figure it out right now. We couldn't right. have to come what back with our DA. We need plans. We just can't do a verbal. Yeah. Okay. Other business reissue certificate of compliance for Ken Mill Valley Road. Yeah, this was a certificate of compliance that was issued, I think, in 2017 and was lost. So we just need to reissue it. Somebody was in contact with me um, it's for construction of the ideal movers and storage building. And I have the original file here um, with the condition or conditions and certificate of compliance with perpetual conditions. Everything's going to be the same. Yeah, it's all. So we don't. Do you, that, do you need a reader? I think this. No. no. It was already issued. Do we need a vote on this? I think we could vote just to. Be <laughs> okay, so I'm, I'm going to look for a motion to reissue a certificate of compliance to 10 Mill Valley Road from what is it, 2016? 2017. 17. That was lost. It was never filed. Yeah, it was never recorded at the registry. It was never recorded at the registry. Yeah. So this is going to be a. I look for a motion. Didn't have to get made a motion. Oh, yeah. Oh, maybe. Second. 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 Any further discussion? Here you go. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Didn't we just have one of these last meeting or two meetings ago? Yeah, I think that was. It was a different. Oh, they don't get um, filed. Oh, it's just coincidental. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Which property is that? 10 Mill Valley. Just which state? 11. 10. 10. 10. 10 Mill Valley. That would be the original. Yeah, the actual. The actual. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Not the new. Not, not the not side. Yeah. Right. You, do you want to know what the, what the uh, compliance was for? Brandon? No. Okay. Okay, okay let's move on. Uh, <laughs> Kayla? Uh, no, good. Updates Paul Alexander's Memorial Street Planning and Black. Yeah, so I've been in contact with Kim Renier. Um, I don't think he's here today, but. We spoke briefly about um, a tree memorial planting for Paul Alexanderson, who was on the Conservation Commission a while back. Um, and I spoke to Scott from the DPW, and he said he'd be willing to help with transportation of the tree and the actual planting. Um, so, so when I spoke to Kim, she said that she would be happy with an, like an early spring or a spring planting. I think she wants to have some family out for the, for the actual planting. Um, and then we would get a plaque. And she recommended some words for the plaque, but I was wondering what the commission thought on, on the memorial kind of ceremony and other other suggestions. I've been fine with whatever you they come up with. In fact, with Kevin. Okay. Yeah, it's probably the same thing that we did for Dawson, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, upcoming learning opportunities. Um, none that I know of. August minutes. Find the right picture. Anybody want to go over first? Good happening. Thanks, the August minutes you want to end together. Right. We get with promotion to the center. Mm -hmm. okay. Look for motion to accept the August minutes. I'll make it. We're going to make the motion, second by. I'll second. Brandon, 
Any further discussion? I think the only one that wasn't here, Steve, you're the only one that wasn't here in August? Well, uh, I wasn't here. Yeah, I, wasn't I wasn't here. here. Okay, so you can't go. I wasn't here, so I could tell you. All those in favor? Hi. Hi. Everyone that was here in August, four out of five was good for Steve. Okay. okay. And I look for a motion to adjourn. Is there any further discussion from anybody else? You know what that address was that Mike and Tom were supposing? Yeah, it was 101 Honeypot. 101 Honeypot? Yeah. All right, Mike and Tom. Are you there, Mike? Ah, uh, Mike? 101 Honeypot. I'll have to look that up. Call the club. There ain't too many of them down there. No. Well, if they're going to do something on a road day for erosion control, we need, we just, we need plants. We mm -hmm. just can't. The stuff that I know you can stake that stuff in, but a lot of times they actually dig and they tow it in first so it doesn't go anywhere. So if that's. But if they're going to be doing work like that, we need to know mm -hmm. in detail because somebody's going to come up with a And you generally, if there's rocks there, they're not going to lay over rocks. So if there's going to be, they could be doing some kind of excavation to prep it too. Yeah. I think we, we need, you I think we need more stuff. information. Yep. Okay. I'll look for a motion to adjourn. I'll make it. Yeah. Make motion? Yeah. Second by. Second. Second. Right. All in favor? Bye. Bye. Bye.